traveling to Disney parks during COVID-19, what you would like to understand before you go. If you're planning to travel to one of the Disney parks and resorts around the world, here's what you'll need to know and expect if you want to visit during the COVID-19 pandemic. The basics. After being closed for over a year, Disneyland Resort in California reopened on April 30th with limited capacity at Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure Park. The latter opened its Fresh Avengers Campus, a replacement land supported the Marvel franchise, on June 4th. On June 15th, Disneyland reopened to out-of-state visitors for the primary time since March 2020, six weeks after the resort reopened to California residents. Those eager to visit got to purchase tickets beforehand via a replacement reservation system. All three of the California Disney Resort's hotels are open. In Florida, all of Disney World's parks are open with the exception of Typhoon Lagoon. Disney World also requires visitors to form reservations beforehand. Hong Kong Disneyland and Shanghai Disneyland Park, including all hotels, are operating normally with enhanced health and safety measures in situ. Guests got to reserve their tickets online before visiting. Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea are open, alongside their hotels. A new addition, the Toy Story Hotel, is thanks to open within the coming months. Disneyland Paris fully reopened on June 17, while its new Disney's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel property opened on summer solstice. The Disneyland Hotel is currently closed for reservations. What's on offer? The original and, some might say, best, theme parks, Disney's resorts remain a magical experience for all the family. From vertiginous rides to firework displays, and in fact the prospect to satisfy classic characters, a visit to a Disney park makes memories that last a lifetime. Who can go? Entry to every Disney park depends on local travel restrictions. The Paris location is subject to France's entry rules. The country reopened to all or any EU citizens and a few low-risk countries on June 9. What are the restrictions? Disney parks within the US revised their masking policies after the CDC updated its guidance. All guests ages 2 and up at Disney World and Disneyland Resort are going to be required to wear face coverings indoors, starting July 30, no matter vaccination status. They are optional for outdoor common areas. Some parks have reduced capacity and need temperature checks on entry. Guests of Paris, Tokyo, Hong Kong and Shanghai parks do got to still wear masks. What's the COVID situation? Exact numbers of cases linked to Disney parks are unclear. What can visitors expect? Similar to other Disney parks around the world, Disneyland in California and Disney World in Florida have reopened with some restrictions, however these are now easing. Parades and fireworks had been placed on hold during a bid to stay guests safely apart. Disney World and Disneyland in California resumed their nightly fireworks shows in early July. Fast Pass and Disney Max Pass services are suspended. Some interactive games have been closed. Capacity has also been cut in some parks, with numbers further limited in restaurants and in queues to stop overcrowding. Despite this, guests can still eat in at their favorite restaurants and luxuriate in the rides, though character meet and greets are replaced by socially distanced character processions. Several Disney World restaurants are allowing character dining. At Disneyland in California, Mickey's Tales of Adventure Breakfast at Storyteller's Cafe at Disney's Grand Californian Hotel and Spa recently reopened for character dining experiences, while Minnie and Friends Breakfast at Plaza Inn at Disneyland Resort is scheduled to open on August 12th. Useful Link's official Disney Parks site Our latest coverage Disney has finally redone its Jungle Cruise ride after years of being criticized for the attraction's controversial depictions of indigenous people. On July 16, the ride will open another time in Disneyland in California, while the updated version at Disney World in Florida are going to be completed later this summer. Read more about it here. Disney World in Florida is popping the large 5 to 0, but the resort isn't letting its age slow it down. Walt Disney World Resort announced a slew of latest events, scheduled to start October 1st, in honor of the park's 50th anniversary. Avengers Campus, a new land based on the Marvel franchise, opens at Disney's California Adventure on June 4th and we've got a sneak preview here. The flagship Disney Resort in Anaheim, California has just revealed plans for a multi-year expansion called Disneyland Forward. Read more about it here. On October 1, 1971, Florida's Disney World first opened its gates. To mark the milestone, Disney World Resort says it's launching the world's most magical celebration starting October 1, 2021. And the party will last for 18 months. 
Repeat visits to Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure haven't been possible since the theme parks closed at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. And now, the park's annual pass program is officially coming to an end. Disney Parks announced January 13 that it'll cancel annual passes and replace them with a replacement program. Meanwhile, also within the US, Disneyland's Jungle Cruise is getting a 21st century makeover after years of criticism. And officials announced that Disneyland Resort in Anaheim will soon be the primary super COVID-19 vaccination site in Orange County, California. Walt Disney World reopened in July, but it hasn't all been excellent news within the Disney World. The corporate has laid off 28,000 employees within the US due to the pandemic, and profits from its parks in China might drop in $280 million. As for the Florida Parks hotels, many have already reopened. Disney's Animalia Lodge is thanks to open on August 26. Disney's All-Star Music Resort will open on September 16. The following month, Disney's Port Orleans Resort will open on October 14, followed by Disney's Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter on October 28. Disney's All-Star Sports Resort is due on December 9.